In a judgment on Tuesday, the former spokesman of the PDP got a 39-year jail term, which will run for seven years. He was convicted by the Federal High Court in Abuja of money laundering and criminal diversion of funds to the tune of 400 million naira. In this report, correspondent Celestine Area takes us through how the trial went over four years. Oli Samitu will be spending the next seven years of his life in jail as the wrath of the law has caught up with him. The four-year-long trial has finally come to an end. He was first arraigned on the 15th of January 2016 alongside his company, Destrat Investment Limited, on a seven-count charge of money laundry brought against him by the EFCC. Mr. Mitu pleaded not guilty to the charges. During his court appearance, different dramatic scenes played out in the courtroom before the final judgment day. Mr. Mitu appeared in court on crutches and sometimes in a wheelchair as if unfit to stand trial. All says his inability to walk on aided was as a result of a spinal cord injury. Mr. Mitu's ill health again became a topic of discussion when he allegedly collapsed in one of his plenty court appearances. But the trial judge would have none of that. He suspected that Mr. Mitu was using his health as a tactic to stop trial and delay court proceedings. There was also an interesting twist to it as Ulisa Mitu was caught on camera at a major event of his party, the People's Democratic Party, moving around without assistance. On the 2nd of October 2019, he closed his defense after calling 14 witnesses. Today, the Federal High Court Abuja, presided by Justice Okon Abang, has found him guilty on charges of money laundry. Mr. Mitu had told the court that the said 400 million naira was given to him by the National Security Advisor to the former President, Gulok Jonathan, to carry out a special national assignment. These submissions the court did not agree with. In conviction, count one, possession and control of the 400 million naira from ONSA without contextual agreement, the court found him guilty. Count two, converting the 400 million naira for personal use and to fund activities of the PDP, he was also found guilty. Count three, concealment of the 400 million naira for activities of the PDP, he was found guilty. Count four, disbursement of the 400 million naira, the court found him guilty. Count five and six, count transaction above 5 million naira for individuals and 10 million naira for corporate bodies, he was also found guilty. Count seven on the transfer of 21.7 million naira to a PDP official, Tony Aneni, the court also found him guilty. Mr. Mitu is to pay the sum of 375 million naira to the federal government. After the conviction, the court had given time to counsel to the defendants for locutors. They pleaded to the court to be lenient with each sentence and give the convict, who is a first-time offender, some leniency. After listening to their locutors, these were the findings of the judge. This country cannot go like this. There must be a change in the way we do things. The first convicts used various media platforms to review and analyze my rulings in this matter. I do not hold any grudge against the convict. I have forgiven him. Hey, Aja, come out now. Justice Okon Abang sentenced Olisamitu on each of the charges. The judge relied mainly on the evidence of prosecution to convict the accused, without reverence to the evidence of the accused person. And we think that on that basis, the judgment is unacceptable to us. And we intend to go on appeal to challenge the judge. <laughs> Mr. Mitu was wearing a smile while leaving the court and heading to a waiting bus that would convey him to the Kudu Correctional Facility. Well, only if we could see the pains behind the smile as he hoped now hangs on the decision of the Court of Appeal. Justice Okun Abak says that the case before him revealed a story of shame and moral decay of the society that we live in. He says, the pitting public fund recklessly is an epidemic disease that has eaten into the fabric of our society. The narrative must be changed as a country cannot continue in this light.